Once again, we're staying in our creating standard layouts.dwg file. What we're going to look at this time is setting up our page setups. You'll notice that each of the layout tabs, the plan view, the house elevations and the detail views are all using an ISO A3 sheet with an ISO A3 title block on top of it. So basically what we've got there is a page setup that is telling AutoCAD with our construction drawings to use a particular sheet size. Now the sheet is the white bit of paper behind the title block with those little dash lines. Those dash lines represent your printer limits and obviously the title block sits nicely on top of that sheet with the printer limits at the moment. Now let's just go to the house plan view layout tab there like so. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to Page Setup Manager. Now you'll notice at the moment that we've got three layout tabs. We've got our house plan view, house elevations, and detail views, and they're all using the ISO A3 Page Setup dash DWF. So if I was to plot any of those particular layout tabs, they'd all go out to the Autodesk DWF electronic plot format. What happens if I want to plot to PDF, for example? Let's say I want to adopt a different page setup. Well, what I can do here is I can click on New, like so, in the Page Setup Manager, and I can create a new page setup name. So I'm going to call this ISO A3 Page Setup again, just to be descriptive. And then I'm going to do a dash, and then I'm going to have PDF this time. Now, the good thing is I can go down to an existing page setup, my DWF there, and I can click on OK, and it takes me into the Page Setup dialog box. Now, at the moment, though, the name is PDF. I need to change my printer plotter here to PDF. So I'm going to scroll down and have a look, and I've also got here my AutoCAD PDF general documentation, high-quality print, smallest file, or web and mobile. I want highest quality print because I want my drawings to show really, really crisp and clean in the PDF so that I can communicate my design intent to the stakeholders that are using my construction drawings. Now, the paper size itself doesn't need to change. The extents here, what to plot, don't need to change either, and I would normally center the plot because I'm centering the title block over the A3 PDF sheet this time. But what I would normally do is just OK that first. So there's my PDF A3 page set up there. And I haven't applied it to any of these layouts yet. But what I can do is I can modify it any time. I can also preview it any time as well. And you'll notice that the actual title block isn't printing in any of these. Now this is where you start doing your sanity checks and making sure that your title block is available and it's going to plot. It's not there right now. That's what the preview button's for. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and exit and we're also going to cancel the page setup. We'll leave the PDF as it is and we'll click on close. Now why isn't it plotting? Well let's do a quick sanity check. Let's select the title block and you'll notice it's on the viewports layer. The viewports layer is set not to plot. So what layer should we be on with these? Well we should be on title title block. So let's make sure that all of these are on the appropriate layers. That's what that preview does, is it allows you to sanity check. Hit escape to deselect the block. We'll go into the house elevations. Again, we'll select the title block like so. Again, it's on that viewports layer. And it's a very easy error to make. You can be setting up all your viewports and your title blocks, and you might actually have that particular viewports layer current when you drop the block into the drawing, for example. So just make sure that they're all on the right layer. That's the important bit. And we'll go to the detail views, and I can guarantee that where we've copied these layout tabs, perhaps, they've all adopted that particular layer. So we need that title block layer set up for all of them. So now when I go back to the house plan view here, for example, and I go down and right click on it and go to page setup manager, what I will do now is I will actually apply the PDF one to my house plan view. So I'll double click on it and it's now a PDF page setup. I'll just close that and that's now a PDF page setup. And what I can do is I can come down, right click, I'll go to plot and I'll do a preview now. And you'll see that my title block is there now because it's on a layer that is actually going to plot. So I'll just right click and exit now. 
and I'll just cancel the plot at the moment. I don't need to plot it right now. That was just to demonstrate what you needed to do. So just make sure that you always preview any page setup that you set up. I did that deliberately just to show you the preview and make sure that you were aware of the layer settings in this particular drawing. So make sure when you're setting up your page setups, everything is set up appropriately and do that preview. It's really important.